So you clicked on this video to see how to successfully catch stench with a feeder rig. You clicked on the right video because in this video I will show you how you can easily catch stench on a feeder rig and be successful like 90% of the times. We will go over the rig that you should use, which bait and ground bait to use and when or where to fish for tench. I'm back at one of my favorite lakes and I can feel that we will get some tench today. When feeder fishing you want to be comfortable so first of all let's unpack all the gear that we have with us today. Today I brought with me my my trusty chair that is super comfortable to sit on. I have two feeder rods, one is a 50 gram dust and the other one is 90 gram dust, bank sticks, tackle box and all the bait that we need. Getting that initial bite from tench when feeder fishing can take a lot of time so it's always nice to get comfortable. rig I will be using today is a cage feeder rig. I will show you what you need and how to set it up. This rig is one of my favorite rigs because it always gets me a bite. First you need a cage feeder with a swivel. You will use this swivel to free run the cage feeder on your line. Next up you need a leader connector beads. These are quick release beads that will help you switch your hook length very quickly and easily. If you get broken off or want to switch the length of your hook length it takes only a few seconds. This can be crucial if there are a lot of fish where you are fishing at and you don't want to miss the bites. And then you have your hook length. The hook length I usually use is pretty tight, has size 10 or 12 hooks with 2 kilo test line. I really like using 70 centimeter lines, this way I've realized the tench are not that scared of the bait. But you can also use shorter line for a quicker hookup. So first you thread your swivel on your line, then add the leader connector bead. Now you attach your hook length to your leader connector bead. For the ground bait, I have a Sensus 3000 super attractive mix with Sensus Prime's super mix. You can replace this with Sensus Tench mix if you want to. Then we have this RMX Red Brims, RMX Garlic and Red Flakes. You might be thinking why the brim mix? This is just to show you that the ground bait matters but if you mix something up you can still be successful. When mixing ground bait you don't want to add too much water. Add a little bit of water and mix it. If the mix is still too dry add a bit more water to it and repeat until you have a nice moist and a bit sticky consistency. For the hook bait I have sweet corn and red Rims. I'm using sweet corn because there are a lot of small roach here and they would keep taking my maggots off the hook all the time. Otherwise red maggots would be a great alternative. This is how I put two pieces of corn on the hook. Meanwhile I will also give method feeder a try to see which one is better today. I also have my carp rod with me which arrived yesterday and was broken in the transport. I will still try to use it with my Insta360 X3 camera to see if I can get anything on the camera today or not. Okay guys, I almost forgot to show you something. We have a very interesting tree growing in Estonia that you don't have anywhere else. It is something extraordinary. It has some cool fruits. I'll show you right away. It's called the monster tree. You might be wondering why, or maybe not. But yeah, this is a wild can of monster growing in the wild. So I think this one is ready for harvesting. We're gonna take it and see how good does it taste. Yeah, this one is definitely in prime condition and is ripe to harvest. Looks good. Let's try it now. Absolutely banging, as always. When choosing your fishing spot and you don't have a rod with a strong test to check the bottom, try fishing near lily pads or weeds in the water. Tench love to hide in vegetation. In the nighttime, they are a bit more brave when feeding and you can catch them from clear spots. Spots with gravel can be excellent for tench fishing. It's time to talk about time. Tench fishing can be very tricky during the daytime. The best times of the day to fish is either before sunset or before and during a sunrise. But this can differ because on some water bodies, tench can actively feed during the daytime or during nighttime. This is something that you need to figure out yourself. Usually when it's midday and very sunny outside, it's hard to get a bite. So for a better success rate, try early mornings or evenings. This time I also had some visitors, a friendly snack enthusiast. There's a little mouse running around behind my chair all the time, so I'm gonna give him some corn, you know. It's a friend probably. Maybe even a relative to the mouse that I found last year at a different spot at the same lake, so let's give them some snacks.
After some time, I managed to have my first bite. It was a medium sized fish, but I have no clue what it was because it got off the hook before I could actually take a look. It could have been a tench, but maybe a bream. Who knows? Well, I've had my first fish, or well, kind of had. I lost it right away in the weeds right at the shore, but no biggie. It is a beautiful evening, so I think all I can do right now is just sit, relax, and enjoy the evening, except the mosquitoes might kill a few of those let's well, just wait for another bite and hopefully it's a nice fish right away i've uh, put on a sandwich plate on my first feeder so i have a worm and two pieces of corn hopefully that will work but in the meanwhile before it gets dark let's just enjoy the beverage and yeah wait for the mighty bite and then the mighty bite happened. I actually managed to catch my first tench of the night and then I had another bite, but the fish got off again. Here we go. I've just netted the first fish of the night. It is a very nice tench, I think, uh, maybe over a kilo or so, which I'm very happy about. So let's hope we get some more and get some bream as well. But this tench, absolutely gorgeous. We'll take a photo of it in the morning and then let it go. Awesome little fish. This is the biggest tench of the night, which I managed to catch. What a beauty. If you guys like this video, you also might like my bream fishing session where I managed to catch a lot of big bream in just a few hours. Take care. Bye bye.